A group of marine biologists will be taking part in the world's toughest row. Chantal Vigin and her three teammates will be rowing from the Canaries to the island of Antigua in December 2023. We are a binational team, so we have um, uh, two team members who are Canadian. Myself, I was born in Canada, um, and Isabelle Coutet is also Canadian. She's actually based in Canada at the moment. And three of us are American. There's around 30 boats every year that compete, uh, leaving the Canary Islands and going to Antigua. Chantal's team, Salty Science, will be competing in the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge to raise money for marine conservation. To qualify for the challenge, all team members must complete 120 hours of rowing, with 24 of those hours being at night. The all-women team will take over 1.5 million oar strokes to power themselves through this challenge. For this self-sufficient journey, the team will be making their own water from seawater by using the sun to power their navigation equipment and their water maker. Before we even get in the water in December 2023, we have a lot of preparation to do. So we all need to physically train a lot in lots of ways. Um, I have my coastal rowing boat here so that you know I get a lot of time on the water. Learning to row, learning to row efficiently. One of the things that folks do when they um, prepare pre-crossing is have everything lined up in packages per day. It's very easy. You don't have to think about it too much. You just grab your food, uh, rehydrate it. Everything's going to be uh, dehydrated food so we can just very quickly add water and eat that. This non-stop voyage is expected to take six weeks, approximately 40 to 60 days to cross the Atlantic. That is roughly 3,000 miles. Certainly I'm excited about inspiring my daughters to take on a challenge that is um, daunting, but that is something that um, I'm going to be really proud of having finished. So I, 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 I think they're going to be quite proud of that. Certainly my 11 year old very quickly uh, when I first brought up the idea um, was telling the crossing guards and other people that her mom was about to row across the ocean. So I think, I think she's going to be proud. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Julio Martinez.